a fiddle tune, traditional Irish fiddle tune called Tobin's. Welcome back everyone, I am Fiddlin' Johnny and this is my fiddle channel and magic review. Today we're going to review the No Choice Wallace by Anthony Miller and uh, presented by Mark Mason. So it's a super hot product out there right now. I know it's a number one on a lot of uh, lists out there. So I thought I would go get it and see if it's as good as it sounds. So what I'm gonna do next, uh, I've actually opened it up already. I performed it for my very first time and you're gonna see a demo of it. So stick around for the demo and then we'll really talk about what I think about it. All right, thanks for coming here and I'll see you in just a second. Hello, glad you're here. As you know, I'm Fiddlin' Johnny, and you're gonna see my very first attempt at the No Choice Wallet. Please welcome Rory, my assistant. Say hello, Rory. Hello. That's where you're supposed to go, hello, Rory. Say hello, Rory. Hello, Rory. Very good, funny, an old joke, but All right, so here's uh, how it works. Um, we're gonna uh, actually use the No Choice Wallet, and I'm just gonna put that down here for now. Uh, Rory, we're gonna go ahead, and for the spectator, what I want the spectator to know is that you can take the cards out, and you can freely shuffle these cards as much as you want. Um, the cards truly are mixed up and your spectator has a true free choice and they can pick any card. So Rory, I want you to use your choice mm -hmm. and pick a card. And what I'd like you to do is go ahead and put your finger on a card and then push the card out. Okay. Okay. We'll go ahead and we'll gather up these cards and set them to the side for now. So, um, Rory, what do we got here? $20. That's right, we got $20. We're going to bring this into play here in just a second. But until then, we're going to go ahead and take your card and push your card into the wallet. Okay. In fact, I'm going to let you go ahead and push that card in there. I want to point out for my spectators right now is that it's a little hard because the wallet is new and it's not broken in so it's a little challenging getting that card in there. So I want you to know that that shouldn't be a problem but you're going to need to break in your wallet. Okay so uh, so here's what I want you to do Rory. Go ahead and take that 20. Oh no don't take the 20. Uh -huh. Go ahead and take the 20. All right. All right, so go ahead and open up the 20 for us. All right, and go ahead and show that to, to the folks there. What does it say? You will choose the Jack of Diamonds. Okay, so um, I don't know if this stayed in frame the entire time, but Roy, you can go ahead and pull out the single card. That's the single card that you picked. There's no sleight of hand here. There's no switches. He picked, show the prediction, the Jack of Diamonds. Now, some spectators might be thinking, oh, every card is the Jack of Diamonds, but if we go down here to the table, go ahead and keep those in front for me, you will see that every single card is blank. These are not gimmicked cards. These truly are blank cards. Blank cards are not included with your purchase. All right, that is my uh, example of the no choice wallet. Now stick around and watch my full review. Okay, so you just saw me do uh, the routine. Just opened it up, I read the instructions, and you saw literally my very first attempt at doing it. So you can sort of see where it might be. Um, need some polishing, but out the gate, uh, how well you can deal with it. So let's talk a little bit about this, about the uh, um, no Choice Wallet by Anthony Miller and Mar uh, presented by Mark Mason. So you just saw what the effect is. Uh, there are additional effects that are taught. Um, let's talk about what you're going to get. You're going to get this box and in this box you're going to get a download code. No download code for me to show there. And you're going to get the actual wallet which is a gimmicked wallet so you can see there. It's a pretty nice quality wallet that you're going to get. You're not going to, it's a credit card slash money clip type of wallet. You're not obviously gonna get the $20 bill, um, but you're gonna get sort of like 
one that can hold your cards. And you can really use this for your everyday carry to carry your cards, that sort of a thing. So you're getting the uh, download and you're going to get uh, the instructions. So let's talk about uh, a little bit about the video itself and uh, what you get. So you're going to get a couple different routines they're taught. Mark Mason teaches the very first routine and in my opinion it is the best routine that's taught. It's taught from straight on camera and he runs through the uh, routine that you see that I just did um, and one that's been promoted I think the most heavily uh, on the trailer videos for it. Um, then Mark's going to go through some basic in this, uh, instructions in terms of how the gimmick works, how to handle it, that sort of a thing. Then Tony Miller, the creator of the wallet, is going to give you two additional routines that he teaches. Um, one is a signed card uh, routine and the other one is a surface peak. Um, and then final one is a dummy billet routine that is actually taught by another Magic Reviewer. Yay for Magic Reviewers doing uh, some fun stuff. Uh, it's done by David over at Unbiased Magic Reviews. He shows how he uses it um, uh, within one of his billet routines, So, which is pretty cool. So those are the uh, four routines that are taught on the video. So if you're thinking about purchasing this product, know that there are other routines that are you can do with this wallet. It is definitely not a one-trick pony. Uh, you can really be truly creative with how you might use um, this wallet or this gimmick. It definitely is signed card routines to impossible location. You could do um, use it as a peak uh, to be able to duplicate drawings or duplicate numbers, that sort of a thing. Um, or you can do it as the card routine where you do it with the blank deck that I did. But you can also do it with a routine with an entire deck of cards and that the one card that's missing happens to be the one card that you predicted uh, that they would choose in the beginning. So those are the different uh, things that you get. Let's talk a little bit about the Peak Wallet itself. This is a really good, high quality wallet. Um, you know, I didn't double check that if it's leather, but it feels like it's real leather. It's clearly stitched really well, and it is a high quality, feels really sturdy. Uh, and they, you know, essentially say, yeah, you could use it for everyday use. And the truth is, I probably will carry it uh, with me regularly because it would be a quick, fast, easy, uh, something I could do on the go. So uh, it's nice in that in that respect. Um, when it comes to the instructions, the instructions leaves a little bit to, um, to be desired. Um, but before I get into that, let's talk a little bit about... Um, some of the pros. Let's just go straight into the pros. The pros with this routine is that it looks so nice and clean is because with the deck of cards they can pick any card. They um, The deck can be shuffled. Um, it is truly a free choice. At the end of the routine they can touch everything. Uh, you can hand it out so they can touch the gimmick itself when you're all done. Um, there's nothing for them to see or to find, uh, especially with the main routine. That's not true of all the routines, but uh, for the main routine that's taught, uh, it's really nice in that way. There is no real difficult sleight of hand to do on this. If you're a beginner, you should not be intimidated by this. You can definitely do it. You'll, uh, If you don't already know, you'll have to know how to uh, cop and ditch, essentially. Um, so there's some of that going on. You might not even notice that in the trailer, um, but uh, you will have to sort of learn how to do that. But once you, if you get it and you see like, oh, you think you'll never get away with it, trust me, it's a lot easier to do than it might seem on first blush. So um, yeah, you might even look for that in my demo to see if you notice when um, I cop and ditch. So that's probably giving away more than I need to, but um, it's what I really want you to walk away with is that's the only slight that you'll have to learn. Uh, and I think it's easy to do based upon how the routine is designed. Um, the other things that uh, you need to know, like I don't care if you're a beginner or prof professional, it can work across all of those uh, types of um, performances. Um, let's see. Um, I do also like the pro that you can do the um, duplicate drawings on here. That is uh, really nice because from a mentalism point of view, um, that's something I will probably use it um, or integrate it in um, or try it out for a while instead of the way that I currently do uh, duplication. I mostly do uh, Steam 2.0 for duplication, but this is another way to be able to do it. And it's just nice because it's, it's you, you can use it as a peak wallet. So that's nice that way. Um, let's see. So, so those are some of the pros. 
There's no angle issues on this. You don't want anyone right behind you, but other than that, it shouldn't be too much of an issue in terms of if there's no angles I would really worry uh, about. So, uh, but there are routines. Uh, some of the routines literally wouldn't have any angle issues and then the main routine only has one that you wouldn't want people standing right behind you. Um, the other pro I would say about this is you really can be creative. Uh, despite the routines that are taught, you could probably come up with your own original routines um, with the functionality of this wallet. So, um, and I'll, I guess I'll leave it at that. If you purchase it, you'll sort of uh, can play around with it and learn that sort of stuff. That's where I'll go into the uh, cons of this. From an instruction point of view, I feel like Mark Mason does the best job on his instruction at the very beginning with his uh, showing the uh, full performance. So yay for showing a full uncut performance. That's how everyone who's distributing magic these days, that's exactly how you should do it if you can. So well done and it's shot good and well. The other ones, I was not uh, happy with um, how they were shot. That doesn't mean that like I still came away with knowing what I needed to know. They gave you the basic handlings of these other routines that you could do. You'll literally have to sort of flesh out the nuance and the subtlety of how you might execute those, but you get the big sort of functionality picture of it. The shooting of it was not great quality with the uh, ones other than Mark Mason. One was shot with an overhead cam, uh, what I believe to be the camera from a computer, shot down towards into the lap. And while it's okay, it's just not great. And then the one at the very end with the billet routine, um, the quality is that it's only shot where you see the person from you know knees up to about chest height. And I'm assuming that was done so that you could see just a close up of the performance. But what just happened? All right, I was editing the video and realized my camera shut off at some point and uh, didn't capture the rest of the video. So I'm coming back and re-recording. So if there's some incongruity, that's what's happening. Anyway, let's pick up where I left off. I think I really was just finishing up with some of what the cons are. And overall, the cons really are minimal uh, with this, is that if you're starting off in Magic, you're gonna really like it because you're gonna be able to perform this right away, out the gate. Um, I would love to have greater instruction in terms of detail and nuance for the newer uh, person who is starting in magic, but the truth is uh, if you love magic uh, You're going to figure it out and you got to go out and just perform to do this. So um, I Think uh, folks who are gonna like this will be anyone from a beginner to a professional uh, It's a good quality while it does its job. I don't know if I showed it up close earlier, but um, Yeah, it's a nice good high uh, quality wallet All right. Well, that's it if you purchased it and you have some things that I didn't cover uh, that you think are important for other folks to know, go ahead and put it down in the comment section. Um, also, uh, if you have other questions, ask any questions you want about it and I'll do my best to answer without, of course, giving away um, the uh, secrets, but i um, happy to do that. All right, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. I'm Fiddlin' Johnny and remember to keep fiddling around with your magic. Till next time, bye-bye.